full time MMA? MMA. Nothing yeah. else. My life, man. Yeah. Back to the daily grind. Thanks for checking out the channel. Make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy because you know what time it is. It's full time. MMA. Yo, I got a love hate relationship with Cody Garbrandt and most of it is love, man. Oh, fuck. I'm torn. I really like the kid though. I think that's where star power might come from, right? What about Conor McGregor? Is it a love-hate relationship with Conor? I mean, yeah, but it's more love. I mean, I, I don't like the fact that he hasn't defended the belt. And you know, Tony Ferguson. I, you know what I'm saying? Nathan, Nate Dia. But at the same time, everything else is dope. Cody Garbrandt, man, whenever he first got on my radar was the Tiki. Nope, not the Takiya Mizugaki fight. The Thomas Almeida fight. Then the Takiya Mizugaki fight. Then he found the Cruz. And all three of those fucking performances were impressive. Cody Garbrandt's got fucking hands out of this world. He was a former boxer. I don't know if he was just amateur or professional, but motherfuckers got hands. Um, he's known as one of the best boxers in the bantamweight division, that's for sure. And bantamweight, if you didn't know, is 135 pounds. Well, Cody Garbrandt, the bantamweight champion of the UFC, is saying, I would knock Conor McGregor the fuck out in a boxing match. <laughs> Definitely a boxing match. And and you know what? I actually like that. Because, hey, what, what was Floyd Mayweather? 145 in the boxing match? I mean, he got the job done. I mean, if Conor McGregor didn't show up with his cardio, that and the Cody, I don't know about knocking him the fuck out if you got on them fucking pillow gloves. But, I mean, if you guys just threw straight hands, I see what you're saying. You know, I like the call out, but you're just a little too small. You put on some weight, and maybe we're talking. Conor McGregor, he's, he's a bigger dude now. I don't think he's going back down to 145, so you'd have to give up some weight. That's for sure. Conor McGregor's fought as high as 170. Conor McGregor's got bigger and better things. But I do like Cody Garbrandt's confidence, and I do think he actually, if it was just a boxing match, would do what he said. So I don't think this is just crazy talk. This is, this is what Cody Garbrandt had to say, though. He said... I'll go in there and knock Connor the fuck out in boxing. Let's be honest, there's no difference in a southpaw or orthodox. That guy could come out and fight with his hand and fight on his hands for all I give a fuck. I would knock him out and that's it. Cody Garbrandt, you know he's fighting TJ Dillashaw at UFC 217 coming up in a couple of weeks for the Bantamweight Championship. Man, Cody Garbrandt's definitely, if he's not on your radar, I mean, I'm probably surprised you're actually listening to this, to this video. But actually, I'm not too surprised, man. I mean, I welcome the casuals and the general public in. So, Cody Garbrandt, he's fighting former teammate TJ Dillashaw at UFC 217 Madison Square Garden. Main event is Michael Bisping versus George St. Pierre. Gonna be probably the biggest UFC card of the year to date um of this year ufc 214 with john jones and daniel cormier was big ufc 219 is looking like that's where conor mcgregor is going to be coming back hopefully that's going to be huge if that's true other than that though this ufc 217 man this is the co-main event cody garbrandt versus tj dillashaw and cody garbrandt hey he, he's hyping it i mean Dana White has said out of his own mouth that he believes Cody Garbrandt could be like the next crossover star, kind of like Conor McGregor. I mean, he's got the fucking chest hats like Conor. He's a little smaller, but he does knock dudes out like Conor. So his trash talk's definitely not up there yet, though. He ain't got that part of his game. I mean, Cody Garbrandt's a cool dude, but his trash talk, you know, he's like hot-headed. Like, if he started trash talking with somebody, he's liable to fucking try and knock him out at the press conference, you know, or, or like, I remember that funny time he was trash talking with Dominic Cruz and they were like at Fox Studios and they were talking trash and Cody Garbrandt started fucking taking off his mic and shit and got up and tried to walk to Dominic Cruz's room. <laughs> that shit was epic. That kind of fucking, you know, lets you know who Cody Garbrandt is. Oh, that shit was dope. That's funny as fuck. I just thought about that. <laughs> Cody Garbrandt, though, man. Cody, no back. I mean, no love. Nah, that's that's a funny joke. Cody Garbrandt, there was, he was supposed to fight TJ Dillashaw before, but he had a back injury, so the fight was rescheduled for the co-main event of Madison Square Garden, which, hey, I'm sure <laughs> you were about to fight on fucking free TV. Now you get to fight on one of the biggest pay-per-views in the year, and you're probably getting pay-per-view points. So, hey, thank the, thank the back injury on that one. That back, back injury came just in time. Shit, TJ Dillashaw should be happy with that back injury, too, thinking about it. You're about to fight on free TV. Now you're the co-main event of the UC 217 Madison Square Garden. 
Woo, that's a big jump, buddy boy. But that being said, man, Cody Garbrandt believes he would knock Conor McGregor the fuck out. They have had a little scuffle, actually. You know, Cody Garbrandt was sticking up for this. Hey, Cody Garbrandt was actually sticking up for TJ Dillashaw in the Ultimate Fighter with, on Team Faber, man. And that was whenever Conor McGregor coined the nickname Snake for TJ Dillashaw. And Cody Garbrandt was like, hey, man, he's not a fucking snake. Boom! Shove that nigga Conor McGregor back like, ugh! Garbrandt was like, whoa, we almost had to fucking knock a band and wait out. He almost had to choke a bitch or some shit. You know what I'm saying? All right, I've said enough on this video. You get the point. Cody Garbrandt believes he would knock out Conor McGregor in a boxing match. And, hey, in a straight boxing match, he might be on to something. But at the same time, we saw Conor McGregor surprised everybody versus the best boxer in the world in Floyd Mayweather in his last outing. So, whoo! It's, it's I, This is definitely interesting to me. If it wasn't, I wouldn't be doing the video. So, hey, shout out to fucking Cody Garbrandt. I like the kid, and then I hate the kid, and then I like the kid. But it's definitely more like I don't really hate the kid, but you get the point. With that being said, it is what it is. Let the full-time family know what the fuck you tell me in the comments. I'm out. Bye, Felicia.